Now with the Squirtle uh, right, against the Wii Fit Trainer on small battlefield. If you can get a grab at those percent, sure, you're not going to sleep on it. And of course, Squirtle being a very good boxing character, close range, and we've seen how much Oolong likes his close range interactions as well. It's going to be a scrap fast with two characters, but the Switch coming out now. Now the Ives are coming out to play, but of course, Oolong still waiting for that opening to get it through. Let's see up throw, no conversion out there. Now Ivesar gets to play, gets a great read on the air there with the double up air and almost gets a third one, but just misspaced it a little bit. Oolong now in a dangerous position, gets a forward throw. Ives are yeah. offstage, are keep grieving on deck. Are we going to see? No, we're not going to see Charizard. I mean, we are, but not before losing that sock. <laughs> he is there. He's there. He's there. He's there. Look at him. <laughs> But what is he going to do now? That's the question. Oh my god. For well, now, he's just going to be the punching bag, and those last remnants of the deep breath will be enough to just take a lot of percents on the stock of Beast here. Yeah, as I said in the previous set of Wulong, deep breathing, one of the best buffs in the game in terms of damage output and damage reduction. reduction indeed. But you oh, look at that. Another one. Great tools. Gets in a neutral air one. Almost in the conversion with a great upper by Beast there, pulling it through, surviving another day. But we're still at one for that one cost. Three. It's a re-grab. What are you going to do? There we are. Good catch on the roll. Again, a panic roll on the ledge when it's a re-grab. It's kind of a classic move. Mm -hmm. Let's see now. I either can get a kill here because it's not looking good for Beast. Mm -hmm. Of course, 113 is not enough for any of those, like, throws to be the killing blow uh -oh. themselves. Yeah, but that's going again. Of course, you have to watch out for the platform because the side of Weef that will actually yep. do massive damage on platforms. Indeed, it can bounce back and all. It's kind of an option to interactions, but yeah, it does a lot of damage. Okay, get the forward air in. Beast on the board here, getting a first stock for their for their, their in their favor. The Oolong not letting it go by easily, instantly getting 92% already. Oh, oh. All right, I like what I'm seeing here from Beast. Maybe again, waking up the Beast here. Ain't it? <laughs> anyway, <laughs> moving on. You are very tough crowd, Dachovet. <laughs> I no, no. so, no, right. <laughs> think out of the sun here. Look, and the then and a good F tilt. Tilt. She just hoses on you. And the F tilt is going to be the free Pete here. And it is going to be Oolong taking the first game. He's showing some signs of life in the latter half of that game. And of course, Oolong. That was way too late. Getting a triple read on with a killing blow is such an important read to have every single time. And it puts a C to your mind. I don't know how to do this again, and this is make gonna make Ledge a lot scarier. Of course, we have Battlefield and we have Smash Soul Band. We are gonna see Beast's counter pick at this point. Uh, but where do you think he's rough. going to bring him? PS2 maybe? Oh, you want something bigger? Like it yeah, seems it's just getting there scrappy situations. He's with bringing Wii him Fit. home. He's bringing him he home. He is bringing him to the home world. But it's just these scrappy situations with Wii Fit that really that Beast really struggles with. Like he gets the damage in, but Wii Fit's damage output is just absolutely. Crazy with that deep breathing. Once she gets that hit going, once she gets the opening, but Beast now going in, as you said, on the home turf, playing it in their own court. Let's see how this is going to go. Starting out with the Squirtle, and of course, Squirtle, very brawling character, but we fit just a little bit more options to get into that open. And I like how Oolong is like baiting Squirtle to come in because you yep. know when you're facing your Squirtle, the only thing they want to do is get in your face to grab you. Yep, yep, that's Squirtle for you. Of course, also seven exceptional tilts to Good get the snipe. opening. Yep. Now, what do you do as a Squirtle? Do you want, don't you want to change for Ivysaur at this point, bro? I don't know. I'm not a judge. Beast is the pro here. I'm not. I'm just a commentator. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I get it, right? But it's still like, if the Squirtle works, I'm always a big believer of if the Squirtle works, keep it out longer, right? If it were, if it gets damage in, if it gets the opening, keep it out longer. But now the Ivysaur is out, and Ivysaur seems to be the one that's really struggling off the free yeah, here. Yeah, I didn't get the time to shine really on game one. Is it going to be this time around, though? We shall see. Good. Um, I don't know if it was a good trade, to be honest. And now Salute the Sun is here. Sorry, Deep Breath. Mm -hmm. Deep Breathing is here. We're keeping ourselves in the middle of the stage. We're parrying the volleyballs just that to make sure we're not at the ledge again. And that's a great point of change that Beast has made. He does not <laughs> want to get stuck on the ledge. Gets an early <sighs> escape from the ledge with the up B into the side B. But the back is going to be enough to push Wait, the other ledge. I was a bit scared, but he doesn't have to get back. Avoiding the Deep Breath here. Now Charizard, time to shine. There we are! Beast going for the update and finally, finally managing to get the kill and the lead for once. Yep, F tilt in. Yep. Very important find for Beast there to get the first stock going. Finally snapping the lead, but now the forward throw is not going to be enough. 
Cloud again. Keeping on stage, another Take a deep breath. Fail. <laughs> fails the debriefing and dash attacks instantly. There's a kind of frustration. Just get him out of there. Back throw is going to be nope. almost enough. 190. Oh. Volleyball will be the finishing touch of that stock. And now we're back at an even game. It's kind of a problematic situation for Beast because he didn't get a single damage on Oolong. So it's back to square one again. Yeah, it is literally back there to square go. one, but against a character who can easily make it her own, and now gets an elf tilt into the back, uh, back to uh, four tilt. This is going to be some damage in, but Squirtle now with the conversions. 47% Ives are coming through, and of course, Weefit does have an exploitable recovery, but you have to be in a position to get it. Yeah, and you know exactly what this was going for. We talked about the way he wants to cover the recoveries. We've that back down there, and all of us waiting for good. But uh, Pokemon Swap here, is it going to be enough to get the lead? That's the question. Game is even. Are you going to get back to any items? I know you don't have time, so you have to stick with Charizard. Yep, Charizard now out here to play the main of the free. And debriefing is again offline. And now you have like a kind of range advantage, as you can see with the four tilt again. And the it, sweet spot every single time yep, of it. Yep, yep, he knows. <laughs> he knows. <laughs> what? You know, he, you mean he knows how to play his character? That is nah! Crazy. That, is, uh, that, is, that is crazy. No one would ever know that. But what do you mean? You're not mashing buttons? <laughs> it's it's the spacing that Charizard can really provide. We've hit the very stubby buttons, but very strong buttons that for Charizard. You see him keeping the distance, keeping Aye. himself in that four tilt back air range. Wants to make sure. Oh! No! Charger okay, that one turned my heart in two. Yep. Oh. Having a bit of a flying session Jump there. Dog? No! Okay, we are on the worst timeline. We this is literally the worst timeline I, here. I, what I happened here? I, I feel like we're playing on a different patch. Huh? Bro, <laughs> we're for playing real. on a buggier patch than before. Oh. Since when do you cross over with a jab? Oh. Anyway, Beast needs to get back into that game. That's nothing. That's just a Mario setback. Mm -hmm. 120%. He could explode from anything, specifically those uppers. Yeah, but the, uh, the uppers are actually the one thing that I've been doing really well, getting those uppers in. But of course, getting the double nair is going to add great damage for B, uh, for uh, Oolong here. Gets the switch out, but it's not going to be enough to scrape. The frame trap that we've been has been providing oh. 109, and now the debriefing is online. Are you going to see another F tilt here? No, we see an F. Fair, it's not going to be enough to get a kill, but the damage is just ramping up. <laughs> Okay, that would have been just to send a very mean message. And the salute the sun will be enough. Yeah, that's hard. That's oh, hard. You saw him game. looking for the f tilt. You saw him dash back, dash forward. Ulan was looking for the f tilt, And you saw the doubt that it planted in Beast. That got planted in game one. Can we get that jab again? Jab block. <laughs> Can we get back into it? Are we just now? Uh, uh, stock two. Stock I, think two. St I think after stock two was taken from Beast. Yeah. I think it was... No, it was uh, the following, I The think. following, my friend. I think he gets the stock here. Yeah, and with he, that good and then he tries to get, he, try, he, try, he tries to jab lock it, and then he just teleports behind him. I don't know if it was SDI, but oh, okay. yeah. that was also sad to know. Why not? Yeah, I think the shit <laughs> was slightly too less, and there were... No, it was there. It was literally there. Oh, okay, it's a shame, right? Really, then, then that skin animation was just so unfortunate. It's, it's, it's really weird, but some of these characters have these really 